Hey everybody, so today I am hoping to inspire you to get into customizing your search. And the reason for this is I've had a lot of conversations recently where people just feel very daunted by the task that they maybe only have a team of one or two people. And you know, all the things that we talk about on this channel, they're like, those are great and I wanna learn more about them, but I just don't know if I can do it myself. And do I even need to do it myself because I can just insert Google or some other kind of off-the-shelf search into my enterprise. And the thing is, when you do that, those search engines are not calibrated for your very specific use case. And what that means is you may not get the search results that you're expecting. So this video is going to talk about the very small steps you can take if you're at that stage, if you are a one person army at your organization. And the two biggest things that you can do if you are using an off the shelf search engine is first, make a taxonomy. So that might sound like, oh, that's, that's a big task as well. Taxonomies don't need to be complicated. There are a few videos on this channel. I will link them down below and put a few up here for you to check out that just walks you through what are the main categories. You don't need to do any you know, huge, deep kind of taxonomy with UIDs and definitions and all of these other things. Start small, okay? So if you have uh, categories that you know all of your staff are constantly looking for regulations or your staff is always looking for certain legal documents or uh, maybe you're uh, doing something for HR and there are certain um, classifications of people uh, or jobs that somebody is looking for. Start there. Most likely you have some kind of list or some kind of dictionary or some kind of encyclopedia kind of uh, terminology thing at your at your institution, at your company. That's probably begging to be a taxonomy. So start there. Start with something that you already know. Start with something that's even small. And what you can do is if you assign those taxonomy terms to your content, to your assets, that by itself will help with your search. And here's why. That taxonomy is going to align with your user's mentality, your user's thinking on how they search for something at your specific company. It's also going to be something that aligns better with the content you have, because I'm sure that's what they're looking for. Google doesn't know that. Google will know the most common acronyms, but does Google know your acronyms? I know every place I've ever worked has a alphabet of soup acronyms that we all make up and they sound kind of crazy. Uh, at work, I can say that I work on the ESP because of the LSDs. That sounds a little crazy. Those are different acronyms and they don't mean what you think they do. But suffice it to say, Google probably doesn't know what those things mean. So if you have your taxonomy and you are tagging that to your content, Oh, but Ashley, I, I don't have time to tag everything by hand and I don't want to tag, you know, everything uh, going the whole way back to Kingdom Come. Fine. First of all, um, there are easy kind of plug and play auto indexers if you're not doing anything too complicated. If it's just categories, um, you can just train something with rule based systems. If that's not even on the cards for you, OK, do it by hand. Just try it with one collection of documents that, you know, people are constantly trying to find and they can't find it. Don't worry about indexing everything back to whenever your company first started. Just start with the things people are the most interested in finding. You don't have to do everything right away because these are enhancements to search. Your search will still work on the other content, but when you add a tag, it gives it what's called another access point. So those access points will directly tie back to your users and your use cases and your content. That's why a taxonomy is going to help you very early on. After you get past that stage, that's where you want to start adding more synonyms and more company knowledge to your search. So you can take your taxonomy and make it into a search dictionary. So this is a, a, a word that is used in library science and information science. Uh, in searches, dictionaries are similar, but 
you can take your taxonomy and actually insert that into uh, the way that you are doing your search. Uh, if you're using Lucene, I know Solar has this and Elasticsearch has something kind of similar. And this is maybe a second step for you. So the first step is just add taxonomy. You don't have to do anything else because if your user is typing in uh, LSD and they don't mean the, the psychedelic drug, but you have that tagged to your content, that search engine will still pick it up even though it doesn't really know what it is because you've tagged it, right? That's step one. Step two is if you can then take that taxonomy and add it as a dictionary into your search, which means the search now understands a little bit more about when it sees LSD outside of your subject tags or outside of your, your tags on your content. That's step two. So I'm gonna stop there because if you can do those two things, you're already making your search so much better. Your users are going to be so much happier. So there are going to be resources, as I said, down below, if you wanna just walk through the basis of, of taxonomy and the basics of adding um, synonyms to a taxonomy, because if you start with those two things, I guarantee you're gonna see some success. All right, so I hope this has helped inspire you. I hope that this gets you excited to start your first project, because again, only start with a small project that you know is going to be meaningful. And you can do this with one person. You can do this with two people. This is something that you don't need an army to do. All right, so with that, I wanna thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.